Welcome to a small village in Japan where a man named Takumi resided. Takumi was a prosperous businessman who had achieved his wealth through years of dedication and hard work. He commanded great respect within the community for his sharp intellect and strategic thinking. However, despite his success, Takumi felt an inner void, an absence of fulfillment. Constantly on the move, rushing from one meeting to another, and consumed by worries over the next big deal, Takumi had unwittingly become entangled in what the Zen masters referred to as the rat race. It was an incessant cycle of work and stress, leaving him drained and disconnected from the world around him. One fateful day, Takumi made a decision to seek wisdom from a renowned Zen master residing in the nearby mountains. Word had spread about the master's profound insights into the true essence of life, and Takumi hoped to find guidance that would help him break free from the confines of the rat race. Upon arriving at the Zen master's tranquil temple, Takumi was warmly greeted and invited to join the master for tea. Eagerly, he shared his heart's burdens, recounting his struggles and frustrations to the attentive Zen master. Thoughtfully nodding his head, the master listened intently to Takumi's tale. Finally, he spoke, addressing Takumi as his dear friend. The master illuminated the truth, revealing that Takumi had become ensnared in the rat race. Focused solely on goals and ambitions, he had lost sight of the everyday beauty and abundance that surrounded him. These words took Takumi by surprise, as he had never contemplated life from this perspective before. Overwhelmed, he protested, But master, how can I escape the rat race? I have responsibilities and obligations that demand hard work and success. With a gentle smile, the Zen master empathized with Takumi's concerns, yet he posed a poignant question. What value does wealth and success hold if they rob you of the joy found in life's simple pleasures? What purpose does a life of ceaseless striving and stress serve if it leaves you hollow and unfulfilled? Pondering the master's wisdom, Takumi gradually began to perceive the truth in his words. He realized that he had been living on autopilot, neglecting to appreciate the beauty that enveloped him. Inspired, Takumi resolved to make changes in his life. In the ensuing weeks, Takumi embraced a new path. He started waking up earlier, allowing time for meditation and introspection before commencing his day. He prioritized spending quality moments with his family and friends, diminishing his time at the office. Additionally, he fulfilled a long-standing desire to engage in gardening, an activity that had previously eluded him due to time constraints. As Takumi embraced these transformations, an unprecedented sense of serenity and contentment enveloped him. He realized that he had been entangled in the rat race to such an extent that he had forgotten the true essence of living. Years passed, and Takumi aged gracefully. However, he never relinquished the lessons imparted by the Zen master. Even in his final days, he radiated tranquility and contentment, surrounded by the love and beauty he had learned to appreciate. In the end, Takumi comprehended that genuine happiness could not be found solely in the pursuit of wealth and success. Instead, it resided within the simple pleasures of life readily available to each and every one of us. With fervor, he transmitted this wisdom to his children and grandchildren, who in turn shared it with others, disseminating the Zen master's message to all who would lend an ear. And so, with gratitude, we conclude this engaging and enlightening tale. Thank you for joining us on this journey of self-discovery and rediscovery of life's profound joys.